First demo is for the Alive Core Cardia Mobile EKG. So this is going to use your smartphone application called Cardia. It's spelled with a K, K-A-R-D-I-A. -A. You can search it in the App Store. It's free to download. Open that application and it'll welcome you to the page. And then it'll bring up the screen that says record your EKG. So you need to push that before getting started, but I'm gonna take a second and take the thing out of the box. So this is the box that it comes in. There are instructions if you need. And then this is all that it is. So it's about this big, thin. Battery is already in place and will last a long time. Okay, so no batteries are needed other than what's already in the device. Okay, there is this little symbol. It almost looks like an arrowhead. That is gonna be held towards the tail of the dog. And these are the electrodes that need to make contact with the dog's fur. Okay, so that's how we're gonna hold it. At least alcohol or hand sanitizer or gel actually works the best to get contact. So I'm gonna put a little dog gel on each electrode. Again, that arrowhead symbol is gonna to go towards the tail. <laughs> Dang girl. And then I do think it's easiest if you actually use your hand to hold the device to the dog, um, just for a little bit more of a, of a good contact. I'm gonna put that over where I feel the heart beat. I'm gonna say record my ECG. And this is the important step. So it's gonna show the electrodes and you want those to light up nice and blue. And when they light up blue, it tells you that you have good contact. The closer your phone is to the dog, the better the Wi-Fi signal. And then the better the contact the blue the squares will come up. So, so the blue squares came up and now we're recording. So there's going to be baseline motion and that's because of the breathing, but we can still see the QRS complexes. Those are nice and narrow. We can still see P waves in front. The best signal is usually when they're laying down, but you can do it when they're standing as well. There's a countdown at the top of the screen. See it going to eight, seven, six, five. They're automatically set to record for 30 seconds, but we can change the length of that recording as needed. When it's done recording, it says your recording is ready. You can save your EKG or you can record it again if it's unreadable. A lot of these will say it's unreadable because we have a lot of artifact in the background, but the cardiologist can still interpret most of those. So I'm going to say save EKG and then it'll bring it up as a PDF document. So at the top, it has an example of the ECG scroll down to midway it says download pdf okay you can notify use all these other options but the main thing we're going to do is we are going to download our pdf you can decide if you want a password protection we usually skip this step and then it brings up the information and then the recording of the ecg that can then be emailed to texted to whoever you would like in your contacts the goal of this study is to have an account set up with a cardiologist so this automatically happens when you download them as a PDF. So that information will be in writing for you. Okay. When you're finished, you say done. You can scroll back up to the top, exit out, and then you can start over from there. So again, the most important step is saying record the ECG, then check for your contact, make sure those green lines come up, and then the ECG will start recording. If you lose contact, it will come out of that screen and say that there's nothing to read. All right. All right, that's it.